Good morning, my dearly, dearly beloved. How you doing? Happy Sunday morning to you. I, I want to read a, a scripture passage. This is from the book of Romans in the New Testament. Romans chapter 8, and this is verse 28. Great passage. Of, I know a lot of you know it already, but this is a fantastic passage. It says this, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. What does that mean? Well, there's a lot to it, but let me just give you this part. Uh, we can say this much right now on this brief little clip. It means that God has a hand in our lives. God, God has involvement. You might put it, use that word, in all the things that happen in our lives. In other words, God hasn't sort of just left us alone and pulled back from our lives, and he's just going to allow circumstances to unfold however they unfold. Whatever happens, happens. No. No, he's with us, and he's involved, and, and uh, ultimately, it, now this is in the long run. In the long run, God is going to craft what happens in our lives. He's going to open doors and close doors. He's going to direct things and arrange what happens in such a way. He's going to take all of it and arrange it in such a way that it's going to work out for our good. That's a, a wonderful, wonderful truth, a wonderful promise. Now, hold on, hold on. I... This does not mean that everything that happens in our lives is going to be pleasant or enjoyable. That's not what the passage means. This does not mean that we're going to be spared all pain, all the heartache, all the disappointment, all the frustration. We get spared all of that because we love God. No, that's not what this means. This is talking about how everything works out in the long run. This is talking about, you know, from a big picture perspective, in the long run. So we're going to have some problems and some hurts and some failures. We're going to cry some tears. You know that, right? Uh, uh, we're going to deal with some misery along the way as life unfolds. This is part of life. In fact, if you don't understand that there's going to be some difficulty in life, if you just don't want to see that or understand that, it'll actually set you up for even more frustration. Actually, I think most of us understand that we can experience um, great troubles that uh, in some way down the road in life will actually teach us valuable lessons. I, I think most of us know this. We, we, we can have some really difficult times in life that actually develop strength or, or character in us, uh, other important qualities like that. So what the passage is telling us is that God will take everything that happens. Now, this is the good and the bad. He's going to take all of it. He's going to take the painful and the pleasant. He's going to use all of it, the joys and the sorrows, and he's going to take it and craft it and, and again, arrange it and open and close doors and use everything that happens in such a way in our lives that ultimately it works together. It all comes together in the end for our good. Again, this is just this is a tremendously encouraging promise. Now, there's some other qualifications that are mentioned in the passage, and I'm going to talk about that further. In fact, I invite you to come, uh, First Church of God. I'm going to be talking about this today. First Church of God in Oak Lawn. The address is 4600 West 111th Street, just a couple blocks east of Cicero on 111th Street. Uh, service times are 9 a.m or 11 a.m. 9 a.m., 11 a.m. Man, I hope you can join us. It's going to be fit. We're going to have a great time. But it's going to, it'll be, it's going to be terrific, but it'll be even a little bit better if you're here. If you're in the Chicago area, come on. Come on and join us.